So we're here today with Nia and Romy to talk about foundation and specific skin types, specific issues, concerns. What are some of the um, things you look for in a foundation, Nia, and what are some of the concerns you have? Definitely something that would cover my face, but not too cakey. And I have like different discolorations on my face, so definitely to address each of those, but to blend it at the same time. So, Nia, you're, you are correct. Most people have a lot of discoloration around their nose and around their chin area, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of darkness here. So it's great to, when you apply the foundation, it's great to start from the middle and blend out. Um, you are correct for not wanting to you know, completely cover your face and have a mask. I think that's a huge mistake that women make. So you kind of want something to address it all. And how you do that is finding a foundation that is sheer enough that you're gonna have the kind of youthful, kind of fresh quality, but has enough coverage that's gonna cover all the areas and all the imperfections that she wants just to kind of have an even skin tone. Great. So today we're gonna use this foundation from NARS. It's a sheer matte. The color is called Cadiz. And I'm gonna just take some with a Q-tip. So I'm gonna take this beauty blender. Halt. <laughs> <laughs> the beauty blender has changed my life. Romy insisted that I use it. And I wanna just quickly go through how, how you, um, use the Beauty Blender because it really creates the most beautiful foundation. Right, yes, so, so the Beauty Blender, it kind of gives this airbrushed quality mm -hmm. to your skin. Um, it's, it shears out foundation, it um, really gives it a velvety smooth finish, um, and it, it, it really allows you to take a heavy foundation and make it sheer. Yeah. So you can control really yeah. kind of how much you're putting on your skin. So you can put lots of thin layers. So when you get the Beauty Blender, it looks like this. This little tiny pink egg, mm -hmm. um, otherwise known as the magical pink egg. Yeah. And what you do is you put it into water. Some people, you know, didn't know this and they would just kind of pull their skin with this Beauty and Blender. it doesn't work dry, really, it, you need to, yeah, this step is important. It, it pulls at the skin, it tugs at the skin, and really what you wanna do is, so again, look at the size of the Beauty Blender, and you're gonna put it in water. I like, I usually just run it under my sink at home, mm -hmm. or if I'm at a shoot, I'll either spray it with water or do something similar to this. So I'm gonna fully submerge it into the water. I'm gonna squeeze the water out. And I make mine really, like I really try to dry it out after I've, yeah done the submersion. Yeah, if you don't dry it out enough, it will shear uh, out your you, product. Too much. Too much. Yeah. So then I'm gonna just take a towel, this is what I like to do, or I take a paper towel if I'm at a shoot, mm -hmm. I squeeze it. Okay. And then I have the perfect sponge. Yeah, it's okay. like this fun springy texture. And it's extremely soft. Now you're gonna feel it on your skin in just a moment. So I'm gonna take the foundation with my sponge and I'm gonna start at the middle of her face because usually the, the most darkness that you have and most kind of discoloration mm -hmm. is at the middle of your face. And I'm really liking this foundation for Nia because it, it has some warmth to it. So it really kind of brightens yeah, really her skin. Pretty. And you see how it's, because of the Beauty Blender, it's not um, heavy or cakey. We just kind of want to keep this kind of luminous finish. So all the work that you do with your skincare, you can kind of, you're not covering it up. You're yeah. just really, no, you just really, want to look like you have perfect glowy skin. It really like mimics the texture of your skin, which I think is kind of amazing. Exactly. And the other thing I want to point out is I was using it and kind of brushing it at first and then you told me to, to dab the way right. you're doing. Well, we never want to pull out our skin. Our skin is we need. To, our skin is precious. Our skin we need to kind of preserve what we have, and we just want to kind of press into the skin. It kind of just plumps it, um, and adds the color in a very sheer, natural way. I like to do. The, I think the foundation should be put on more kind of even and sheer, and then I would go in with a concealer mm -hmm. where you want it to be heavier. Okay. You definitely don't want a heavy face a foundation and again, you know, don't want it to be cakey, you're right by saying so, um, and you know, the right tools will help that and the right formulations will help that. So this is a concealer from NARS, it's called um, Caramel, it's also medium to dark, um, and this is a great 
it's creamy, but it's not too greasy. And again, if you have combination skin, you don't want something that's going to slide down your face and, and kind of fight with your own oils. So another thing I've noticed and that you've sort of taught me is to really get into like the corners of the eyes mm -hmm. and and then you can almost like leave the outside more alone like do you know what I mean yeah so it, it doesn't have to be like even concealer all the way across no definitely not I mean you could go you can go a little bit kind of on the outer Okay. corners of your eye uh -huh. but you know you don't have to completely conceal your eye and you want to go very lightly and you don't want too much concealer to go by your lash line because then you'll get that kind of that build up and that and it, it looks really makeupy and cakey and, yeah. and not natural at all um, so then again with the concealer with my finger I'm literally just gonna tap it onto any blemish mm -hmm. and you see how they just kind of erase yeah So with concealer, it's a real targeted application. It's a targeted application. If you need extra coverage around the nose, you can put it there. The outer corners of the nose, you can, you know, any any imperfection that Nia has, I'm just going to tap it on top just for a little, little bit more coverage. I'd rather spot conceal than put a thick layer of foundation all over her face. Right. And as you can see, you know, I'm tapping her her face a lot with my the pad of my finger, but I'm not constantly just loading on the concealer. Right. And You're that's layering key. by tapping. That, and never pulling. Exactly. And I'm and I'm tapping until it looks like you can't see anything. Okay. That's what I want. I want I want I want it to look like you really can't see foundation or makeup on her skin at all. She just has great skin. Mm -hmm. Nia looks so pretty. Great. <laughs>